I would describe my practice in my studio as being chaotic. I am very tech driven so a lot of the work that I make is very gestural, very expressive. I use a lot of thick glazes and a lot of colour. It's exciting to be in the studio. It can also be awful to be in the studio. Ceramics can be punishing so I do my best with the material but I also, I don't know, I, I like to kind of push the boundaries a little bit of what the material can do. I make a lot of different objects. Some are functional in nature and some are purely sculptural. I like being able to flex between those two different camps. For Melbourne Design Week, I prepared a cacophony of vessels. This features uh, this beautiful gold bowl here and numerous other really abstractly decorated objects too. I'm also showcasing this work here, which is called Pest Chair, and that is a kind of a sculptural functional object that references termite mounts. Some of the issues that inform my practice I think really revolve around ecologic collapse. Not necessarily in a doom and gloom bleak way, but I think in more of a celebratory, what we have right now is really beautiful to reflect on. So a lot of my work references insects and in particular the eusocial insects. I use a lot of different ephemera in my work. There's various different gems and pearls. It really depends on often just like the texture, but I'm, I'm referencing a lot of kind of sacred religious objects from like Western Christianity. So there's a lot of deep blues and dark red gems and they're massive and they're adorning the outside of these objects. Melbourne and Zion Fair is important and exciting because it really gives people an opportunity to one, showcase their work in a platform that hasn't really existed before in Melbourne. Another aspect of it is it allows people to view this work in the same light as they might perhaps view fine art and lean into the stories that can be told through design objects in the ways that I guess we've been trying to communicate for a while. <laughs>